Self-assembly is about how independent parts come together on their own to build precise things. I'm Skylar Tibbetts and I'm the director of the Self-Assembly Lab at MIT. We want materials to be a new medium, to make decisions, potentially be intelligent, reconfigure, change our lives. Materials that have robot-like things but with no robots. We tend to use large-scale, abundant, readily available materials like plastics, foams, metals. We program our materials based on their response to energy. We use moisture, but you can imagine in the future you use heat, you use light, current, many other energy sources. So we take a strip of wire metal and we mold it into a shape. We program the metal and the structure of the metal to remember that shape. I'm dumping in 180 degree Fahrenheit water. And then I take this wire and I'll dip it in water and then it'll transform completely on its own into this very precise spirograph shape. And it's completely repeatable. In this project, there's two materials. There's a black material and a white material that are printed. And we print with these very precise materials in very precise places. So it folds from a flexible, record-like shape into a rigid, saddle-like shape. So you can imagine these materials self-fold into shoes, into garments, into components for planes, into tires that change grip, where the materials are smarter and they actuate themselves. This prototype, when you push down, it bulges showing how a pipe could expand based on capacity. And then you can imagine pipes that shrink to change flow rate, so they pinch or they undulate. In the future, we hope that I wouldn't need to actually change this through force, and it could adapt completely on its own. We're always excited about doing things that are seemingly impossible. We're pushing the limit. If it seems like we can't, let's try to do it. <laughs>